Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crochet Team channel and finally I am ready to share with you the pattern, the video tutorial uh, of Sunnyside Cable Hat. Uh, the um, written instruction you can find uh, on my blog. I posted long long time ago. The hat is knitted in brioche technique so if you like this technique uh, you are welcome to join me. For this hat, uh, you will need a pair of uh, two pairs of uh, uh, 3.25 millimeters knitting needles. You can use 3 or 3.5, and for the main part, you're going to use 4 millimeters knitting needles. And the yarn, this time I am using absolutely gorgeous and soft yarn. Uh, dream and uh, I, it might be hard to find this yarn now uh, I'm not sure because I have it for a long time but uh, any decay yarn will be fine as soon as it has about uh, 100 meters or 90 meters uh, per uh, 50 grams so it's soft and enjoyable to work yarn Previously for this hat I was using Gazal uh, medium baby wool uh, yarn. It's a Turkish yarn, uh, but I'm not sure if uh, if you can find it. So any DK yarn, as I said, uh, if you have, uh, then you are ready to start. Uh, also on my YouTube channel you can find the matching scarf. It, uh, it's also called Sunny Side scarf. Please check. Using smaller size knitting needles, please cast on 96 stitches plus one more stitch. So, in total, uh, you will need this one stitch to join and knit in rounds. So, what, what we are going to do slip the first stitch to the right hand needle. Then slip the last stitch from the right hand needle over the first one. Like this. And drop the last stitch of the needle. Now return the first stitch to the left hand needle and you are done. We have joined and ready to knit in rounds. Place the stitch marker. The first round we are going to knit ribbon. Please check that all your stitches are not twisted. Ribbon knit one, purl one. Knit one, curl one. A little bit tough to move, and uh, maybe I forgot to tell you that I'm using 40 centimeters uh, length circular needles, so these are the best uh, lengths for this head. But if you want and prefer to use a magic technique, magic loop technique you can use 60 80 or even 100 centimeters so go on ribbon knit one curl one knit one curl one knit one Girl one. So that's how it looks. Please finish this round till the stitch marker and then knit uh, two or three more rounds repeating the ribbon until it measures at least one centimeter. Here I am. I've done four 
rounds and now I am ready to change to the bigger size knitting needles. In the first round we are going to knit one below. So insert the tip of your needle, not in the next stitch but one stitch below and purl one. Here you can see that I purl through the back loop. Please don't worry, it's just a normal purl stitch. And again, knit one below, purl one. Knit one below, purl one. Let's do again. Knit one below, so we repeat ribbing. But not knitting in the next stitch, but one below. Knit one below and drop off. Purl one. Knit one below and purl one. Knit one below and purl one. Please finish this round till the end. That's what I have. I have changed and removed the uh, smaller size knitting needles and ready now to place a stitch mark. So now we are going to knit one and make a purl one below. So as you can see that my purl stitch is looking in this direction so I go from the back because I was purling it through the back loop even before. So let's do it again. Knit one and even your purl stitch look like this, it doesn't matter. Mine is like this, but even your is looking like this, you go from the back and purl one below. Knit one, purl one below. Knit one, purl one below. Again, knit one, purl one below. Knit one, purl one below. Interesting, right? Before we were doing knit one below, now we are doing in this round purl one below. Purl one below. Knit one, purl one below. Please finish this round till the stitch marker and after repeat previous two rounds uh, two more times. So rounds uh, three, four, uh, five and six after ribbing. So here I am, I've done six rounds after the ribbing. So here I finish it and now we are going to make uh, our first cable twist. For this you will need a, an extra needle or a cable needle. I'm using just a simple uh, double pointed needle, uh, the same size. So slip the first six stitches and hold them in front. Then knit one below Pearl one Knit one below Pearl one and one more knit one below and pearl one so we need six stitches now knit next in the same way six stitches next six stitches from the extra needle knit one below like this then purl one and again knit one below purl one and one more time knit one below
and curl one. And we've got left leaning cable twist. And now work on next 12 stitches as knit one below, curl one. So next 12 stitches. Knit one below, curl one. It's two. Knit one below, curl one. It's four. Six. Knit one below, curl one. Eight. Ten. And twelve. That's it. And that's what you're going to repeat. You're going to make left leaning cable twist and then 12 stitches just um, following the pattern. Let me show you again. Slip next 6 stitches to the extra needle and hold them in front. Then knit next 6 stitches as knit one below curl one. Again, knit one below, curl one, and one more time, knit one below, curl one. Now repeat the same, but from the extra needle. Knit one below, curl one, knit one below, curl one. And again, knit one below, like this, and curl one. And now 12 stitches, knit one below, curl one. Need 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 one below, curl one. And one more time, need one below, curl one. Please repeat these 24 stitches till the stitch marker. Round number eight. So we are going just knit one and curl one below. So a little bit tight here. Curl one below. Like this. And again, knit one, curl one below. Knit one, curl one below. Knit one, curl one below. And like this, you go on knitting till the end of this round. And in the round number 9 you are going to knit one below, curl one. Knit one below, curl one. Like this you alternate these two rounds until you reach uh, round number 16. So in round number 17 we are going to make one more cable twist. So this is round number 8 where you knit one, curl one below. In the next round, round number nine, you're going to knit one below, curl one, and then again repeat in round number ten, knit one, curl one below. So go on alternating these two rounds. Here I am, and that's what I have at at this moment. And now. We are going to make the right cable twist. For this I need next 12 stitches like knit one below, curl one. And again knit one below, curl one. So this is six. 
knit one below purl one, knit one below purl one, and one more time, knit one below purl one. So in total 12 stitches. Now take the extra needle and slip next six stitches to the extra needle. Three, four, five, six. And at, at this time, you're going to hold them in back. Now knit next six stitches from the left hand needle, like knit one below, curl one, knit one below, curl one, knit one below, curl one. And now six stitches from the extra needle. Pull the working yarn back and again knit one below, curl one, knit one below, curl one, and knit one below, curl one. That's it, and that's what you are going to repeat. Uh, I'm going to show you it again. So right leaning cable. Let's repeat one more time together. Knit next 12 stitches. Knit one below curl one. So this is four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Now take the extra needle and slip next six stitches. To the extra needle and hold them in back. Bring the working yarn in front and knit one below curl one, knit one below curl one. And one more time, knit one below, curl one. And now repeat again the same but already from the extra needle. Bring the working yarn in back. Knit one below, curl one. Again, knit one below, curl one, knit one below, curl one. And as you see, again, a right leaning cable twist. Please repeat for two more times till the stitch marker here. So this is round number 18, where we are going to knit one, curl one below. And again, knit one, curl one below. Knit one, curl one below. Knit one, curl one below. So no twist. Just everything as we did before, the same round that were before after the cable round with cable twists. Here, knit one, curl one be below, knit one, curl one below. You see, curl one below and knit one, curl one below. Like this, go on knitting till the stitch marker. Round number 19. 
again alternating knit one below purl one 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 knit one below curl one so go on to the stitch marker and after rounds 21 20 21 22 23 24 25 and 20 and 26 you're going to alternate uh, those two rounds where you need one below curl one and then need one uh, curl one below and after you finish 26 rounds you are going to make again the same cable twists as we did before in round number seven so you're going to repeat from the round number seven making twists and like this you repeat rounds 7 from 7 till 26 as many times as you want until the hat reaches about uh, if you want a slouchy hat so it can be 21 22 centimeters so 20 centimeters will be actually enough and if you find it's confusing what i'm telling you now please uh, go on the link is uh, down below you can find the link to this pattern down below uh, below and check the written instruction maybe it will be easier for you to follow the written instructions so let's go on knitting and welcome guys back again so that's what i have after that two cable two cable twists i've done one Two, three. So I repeat the pattern three times, and the third time was not the full. After the right cable twist, I've done six more rounds, alternating those two uh, rounds that we were talking before. So after the right cable twist, I've done six more rounds, and now I am ready to start decreases. So slip knit one this over and repeat this till the end of the round slip knit one this over i also wanted to add that uh, in the written instruction you will find that i was doing hat even longer but this time i decided to make it shorter uh, you can start making decreases at any point they are easy and only have three rounds so repeat slip knit one pass over till the end round number two of decreases we are going to knit all stitches without any decreases this time just knit all stitches around repeat till the stitch marker and round number three again repeat slip knit pass over all the way around slip knit pass over and again slip knit pass over like this go on finish this round if it's hard and tough you can uh, change to the double pointed knitting needles because i know it can be a little bit hard uh, to use the circular needle here to the stitch marker so i've done all decreases 
Let's cut the yarn. Take a yarn needle, thread it. And now pull the tail through remaining stitches. From one side and from another side. And two more. That's it. Pull dot. You can remove this stitch marker. Pull. And that's how the crown look. Now pull the needle to the wrong side. And go on pulling the tail underneath remaining stitches. I usually do it uh, twice or three times. And then at the end you can make a knot. So go on a couple of more times and then cut the yarn. Weave in other ends, and that's it. That's our hat. So, if you are fan of brioche knitting, I'm sure you will be excited, as I was the first time. Uh, I do really suggest you knitting a matching scarf. Please also check the info box. I will leave the link there. I'm not sure if you need a matching uh, mittens for this set, uh, so leave me comments if you really want them. And that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and watch my other video tutorial.